What is up everyone, Bo here from Easy App, and today, as you can tell, we're going to Selang River to get the Water Vol Walker. Two ounce, seven knot hook to get the Tame and Con. Um, I think it's going to be a good little video here. Hopefully, it'll help you get your own uh, Water Vol Walker if you don't have one already. But Selang River being level 48, I believe, right? Let's track the mission. Go back to the globe. Uh, 48, yeah, in Mongolia. It might be a little bit for some of you guys leveling up to this point, but should be fun. And uh, this is getting us ready for the Tame and Khan coming in here to the uh, Halloween extravaganza, obviously the monster fish mission. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. And if you're looking forward to this and the video coming afterwards, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes, and let's get into it, everyone. Well. All right, gotta take these babies off. <laughs> We're headed to uh, Selang River, everybody. I am really excited to go after the Arctic Grayling which is going to be our uh, our fish that we're going after today. I do have a few different setups I'll show you. I'm not sure if they're the best setups to be using or not. <laughs> this is this is actually here. I'm going to move this so you can see it a little bit better. As you can see, I'm using a Halloween rod just for the heck of it. Make it fun, but we're using the Skella hand. Feel free to find a setup that you have that is sort of like this. Obviously, we're not going for like lots of XP or money here. We just need a rod that can allow us to catch the fish. Keeping it close to it, you know, that's up to you. But uh, we got that. We got the big Ali. We got two of them here for uh, bottom fishing. And then we have a spinning rod as well. I've got a bunch of different lures that we can try because, as you saw in the mission there, we do need to get a few dead water voles in the thickets along the riverbanks. I'm not sure if this is something we're going to be able to, like, pick up. Without further ado, let's go to Selang River and see if we can get some of this stuff, everybody. All right, looking at the map here, Selang River, uh, I, honestly, I'm not even going to use a boat for some of these Arctic Grayling. I'm hoping I won't have to anyway. If I need to, I guess we can get in one, but I like to just go to the straight to the nomadic camp, so that's what we're going to do. Not sure. I know that back in my beginner series video, I was catching unique Arctic Grayling that were 8 pounds. You know, we need 6.7 pounds to uh, meet the needs of this mission, and I'm not sure if the, today's weather is the best day to do it. But we're just going to go ahead, skip to this, and I'm going to cast, as you can see, I've got a few different spots in here where I've caught them in the past. Let me look on the map exactly and I'll show you show you what I've got here. We've got this spot for the unique Bacal Mule, and next to it here, the unique Arctic Grayling with the Bark Beetle Larva. And I do think there is another spot as well over yonder somewhere which uh, might also be good, but if we don't get any bites here in the beginning, we might switch the day because, I'm, like I said, I'm not sure which day is the best. So we're just going to toss out some stuff. I'm going to start with a bark beetle on a float rod. I know this is going to float down the river a bit, I assume. Let's toss that out. I just don't know how fast it's going to be. We're going to toss that, and we're going to get a bark beetle here. We're going to throw it out. I'm not sure where. Toss one over here, maybe. Honestly, by that marker, not be, no, might not be a bad spot as well. We're going to do that, and then we'll get our second bark beetle and toss it right here next to this marker. And if I end up cutting to the future, I'll show you which day I do it, but I, I mean, this is the exact same setup I'm going to be using. And while we're waiting, might just cast this around, and I also might just walk down the shoreline and see if I can find any uh, thickets or something like that to get some of these voles out of. Well, we've got some beeping going on. What we got? Okay. Got the first big Ali over here. Oh, this has got a three-aught hook on it, too. I, you know, I was having the most luck with two-aught hooks, but I figured I'd throw a three-aught hook on there as well just to see if we would get into some larger Arctic Grayling. Um, but if it's not working for us, then we might uh, throw on the two-aught hook, give that more work as well. But I am literally just tossing them out, reeling fish in. These are strong rods. Uh, I don't think we should have to do much fighting with these fish, but hopefully we'll get into some big ones here soon. A column mule, so it looks like. Yep, small one. Okay, okay, I see you. They will took two of them right here. I don't know. Man, I am not seeing any vegetation on this darn bank, I guess. Oh, I was really hoping that I'd be able to do two things at once, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. 
But it does look like we have a fish on over here if I can get to it in time. Ooh, that's a big fish. What do we got? There we go, 4.3. It was closer anyway. Closer to what we were looking for. But not quite. This is a bigger fish as well. Gonna be another four pounder. Oh, just nearly. Okay. All right, I see you. I see you. Not even sure which one to reel in right now. Got that one. We got this one. This one. Ooh, wowie zowie. Okay. Might focus on this one just to get it in because it does seem like a fairly good sized fish. Good night. Come on, you. Get over here. It is on what we started with the bark beetle with the two odd hook. Come on. Bing oh, there we go. We got the one out of five. Oh, it's a personal record as well. Top notch, everybody. That's exactly what we wanted. I doubt this is uh, I doubt this is another one, but we might as well reel it in. That's a little bit cow, of course. Something super small that annoys us in the background the entire time. That's hilarious. So this is revealing. Because here's the leaderboard for the Trophy Arctic Grayling. They don't even go up to 6.7. So literally, you have to catch five unique Arctic Grayling to even... Oh, I'm number 98. Woo! Um, to even complete this mission. Okay. Checking thickets. Gotta check the thickets for dead little bulls. I don't know if they're all at the same thicket or if it's different for some people. I was thinking, how many times have I come to Sling the River but I've never seen the camos? But right on. Hey, cuties. Have you seen any voles? Uh, you seen any voles? They sure have a lot to say, but it's not helping me. And now we're seeing sheep. Well, we found sheep and camels so far, but we haven't found any freaking voles. Oh my god, our first one we found wasn't even close to a thicket. Just right here in the shipwreck. Interesting. Okay, okay. Well, at least we found one. Kind of know what to look for. Literally a dead little mouse on the ground. Now I don't know where to look. Taking the boat to go to an island here. Oh my goodness. It was underneath the log. A little, they're getting pretty good with the hiding here. Alrighty. Okay, so now I'm starting to think these are just... Because this is the one that was in KP Shimino's fit. So I think all these little spots must be the same for everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. At least that makes it easier for you guys when you're wanting to get your own. Oh, literally popped up for like half a second. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Alrighty. That was at this location. This, this spot right here. We got one left. I was sure it was going to be over... And that other camp, but I walked around that other camp for a while and I couldn't find it. Yeah, there's there's not a vole over here, but I did find this secret path. Ooh, spooky. Not sure how much of a secret it is, but it is kind of cool. Ooh, we haven't checked this island yet. Looking for voles. Where are you, voles? Oh my god, I thought that leaf was it. I thought that leaf was it. There's a lot of logs over here, though. Two sticks, 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 lots of sticks. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, it's behind this rock. Oh my god. Okay, so that's where you get your boat, in that island here, and then behind this rock. That is hilarious. We got the last bowl! Okay, now we just need to catch a bunch of Arctic Graylings, which I already showed you how to do. Ooh, it took out some line. Took us from like 70 into the 80s, now he's taking out some more line. Come on, man. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We got him! Got the two! Nice! Another 8.6 pound of unique. I'll take it. I'll take I think I'm just gonna cut. Cut to the chase. I'm not sure if I can switch the time already. 17 minutes? Ah, yeah, forget that. We're going straight to it. Straight to it, man. Mm, got another one taking some line out. Boy, that could be pretty quick if that's the case. Because, I mean, we literally caught the other one, like, I don't even know, two minutes ago. Got him in here, and that's going to be the third one. Good deal. Another unique. I tell you what, I think I'm just going to finish this out. Let's just crack these out real quick. Yippers! That's our fourth one. Unique Arctic Grayling. 8.7 on that guy. Top notch! And I'm literally gonna pick up this rod and I'm gonna reel it into and then we're just going to skip ahead to the last time to get this last fish real quick. But you can see which day we're on. We're on this double hill day. We got two of those hills on the same day. We're gonna skip to the peak of this one. Oh, I got my fingers crossed. 
Oh, that's going to do it. There we go. 8.491 on that guy. And that is going to give us the five Arctic Graylings we needed to get the Water Vol Walker, everybody. Fantastic. That is awesome. Take a few screenshots. Very cool. Well, great job. You've obtained the Water Vol Walker and are now ready to hunt for the Tame and Con. This time, you are prepared. Right on, right on, everybody. Well, I tell you what. If this was helpful, I hope it was. Get your own uh, water vol walker here, two ounce, seven aught, uh, top water lure, I'm assuming, to go after the Taman Khan. I am so looking forward to doing that in our monster fish videos coming up here soon. If you enjoyed the video, found it helpful in any way, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the BZ Hub. Make sure you do so. If you want to join us at our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, uh, do that as well. It's always a blast hanging out with everyone and uh, fishing in real time. It's just really fun. Anywho, I think that's going to do it for this one, everyone. Take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, everyone, remember... We're one planet, one family, game on.